Hey guys, welcome back to the Cycles podcast. You're hanging out with me, your girl, at the Angua Anyway, my name is Maeve Sheryl and welcome back to the Cycles podcast. And with me here is an amazing guest. Uh, you've seen her before. I brought her back. Do you want to tell guys your name again? Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Analo Kanga. I'm Maeve's friend and I'm happy to be back. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. I had, on this particular episode of the Cycles Podcast, we're going to be doing, we're going to state some of the things that we think should be normalized, mm -hmm. things that are maybe not normalized <laughs> or things that have gone out of style that we think should come back. Yeah. So are you going to take us through them? Or maybe like problematic things that generally shouldn't be problematic. Which is in a bit of a bit of a uh, -uh to that. we'll get to that. Okay. Hi, you want to break it off? Um, you want me to start? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So things I think we should normalize. Mm -hmm. Normalize the fact that you're not a good person and people don't like you because you're not a good person. I didn't normalize the fact that you're not a good person. Yes, like you're inherently not a good person and that's the reason why people don't like you. Is this personal? Are you trying to no. send a sub or something? Let me explain. <laughs> So I feel like, um, mm -hmm. and like, as in all these opinions, by the way, I'm one person in the grand scope of 7 billion people. Mm -hmm. So just take my opinion with a pinch or a heap of salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, like, I feel like we are all inherently, um, we have bad parts of ourselves and we are not that great human beings. And instead of always taking the victim root of people are hurting me and bad things are happening to me. You need to own your negative traits because you can't fix a problem that you cannot see. Mm -hmm. So if every single time you're in a situation where you feel like you're being attacked, the problem is you because you're the common denominator in uh, all your issues. I have and <laughs> if you just, and you know, I guess like, especially I think, um, as women, mm -hmm. um, it's easy to take the victim route or the I'm a damsel in distress. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but also you don't have boundaries, Ashley. Mm -hmm. You know, also you, you're... You say Ashley. Like, I'm just saying, like, Ashley as... Not because it's not my name or your name. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't... You don't, um, you don't take accountability. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're rude or you're mean. Maybe you give people silent treatment mm -hmm. and people are allowed not to like you for that. And I think once you accept that, you can take control over your relationships and your life. And yeah, you can work your way to being a better person. I've heard you, but I think I have a problem with something you said. Yes. Um, number one, I agree with that because I also, I think I came across, I think I did also shared it where you, we need to, uh, we need to be honest with ourselves enough to realize that we are not really this good people we've painted ourselves to be in our, our heads, heads. Yeah. and that, yeah, we should embrace the darker parts of ourselves. Yeah. But the thing I don't agree with is when you say, Ati, what, what did you say? I even lost it. I think you said something about being, being the, being the com common denominator. denominator. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't agree with that statement because genuinely, honestly, mm -hmm. You could be a person that's completely self-aware. You could be a person who has their boundaries in check. And you mm -hmm. could be a person who is who just doesn't give people shit, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, everywhere, most of the places you go, you find people who do that. And I think a lot of self-aware people, once, one, one thing I've noted with people who are like that, they don't like confrontation at all. They don't like um, scaffolds and back and forth. So you oh, find you yes, a lot of them. Okay they don't um, roll in the mud with like whoever wants to take them there. You get. Okay. So when you say that they're a common denominator mm -hmm. and when I say someone, uh, they, they like to avoid conflict and things like that, it means uh, they don't, like the boundaries are in check and everything and everything. So, and and whatnot. I don't know. Um, that common denominator argument did you? Like you don't feel like you're the common denominator. In Not all yes, you are. I mean, in like terms you just of physically, are maybe in terms of physically being. And um, it takes it's 
actually takes two to tango. So even when you're saying the other person who um, has strong boundaries, mm -hmm. even the way you've explained it, it mm -hmm. sounds to me like somebody who has maybe a low self-esteem or who is not confident in themselves because I feel like if you have mm -hmm. a relative, not you don't even have to have a high self-esteem. Life is hard, okay? And you're not always on top of your game. But if you're confident and comfortable in who you are, I don't see why you have a reason accepting and accommodating other people. You see, I think we're talking, I think now we've, like branched out can we like come back to this conversation okay. after yeah sure, sure. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's my number one hold it there yeah hi uh, my number you? one is mm -hmm. normalize putting yourself first and this is a trait i think i've seen in men and i like that that's one thing i like about men aside from any every, every other thing that we may like, you like in them. everything about men no i said aside mm -hmm. from any other thing that we may like in them oh. <laughs> you're to fight me i said so yes putting yourself first have, do you see how easy it is for men where if let's say you're in a relationship and an opportunity comes to them yeah. they grab it with both hands without even thinking twice yeah where we're up or you've been toiling in school you've been umekula vitabu and mm -hmm. all those things you get a scholarship to go to the uk <gasps> But you start feeling 50 50 about that opportunity because my boyfriend because mm -hmm. you know but mm -hmm. them Atakuacha in that instance, you'll talk about it later when he's mm. abroad. So mm. I think this one now is, okay, I don't want to say it to women because, again, I'm also addressing young men and all those things. Yeah. So put yourself first in every situation. And this means even in relationships. If there's something you particularly want or if there's something you're particularly looking for yeah. and you're not getting it, do not settle. If it's a work okay. environment and maybe uh, people are treating you badly or mm. it's bullying or it's mm. what just stand for yourself most mm. of the time we think okay like what i said uh, people who are self-aware who like to avoid scaffolds i think it does more harm than good when you keep quiet about something that's bugging you Absolutely. or when you keep quiet about something that's quite detrimental to yeah. you being a, a holistic person so yeah. put yourself first in terms of if it's hurting you if it's um if it's hurting you, if it's going to benefit you, grab it. If it's hurting you, do something about it. Don't stay there and just complain, like you said, victim mentality. Yeah. Not at all. So that's yeah. my number one. Your second one? Oh, I love that. I love that. And I completely agree. Mm -hmm. um, I also feel like that's something that, especially as women, we need to develop more. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, all of these things are, all, all of these traits are not like, completely bad or completely good and they mm -hmm. exist like on a spectrum. Mm -hmm. So even the fact that women are more selfless, it's also because we are more nurturing. We have more room to like be sort of motherly figures and yeah. like, oh my God, how can we take care of everyone? But then you can't pour from an empty cup. So for yeah, sure. I really love that. My second one. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I feel like. <laughs> Just say it. There's no. Normalize, mm -hmm. not inheri in inheriting the shame of your parents or of your family. Oh my God. It's getting deep. <laughs> this is this Kelly Rowland and Sean Paul song in Kwangani. How deep is your love? Mm. This, oh my God. I'm feeling like. Like, just don't do it. Mm -hmm. You're not your parents' story. You're not your family's story. And I think um, the lighter way I can put it, you know, the people who say, <laughs> uh, we don't make money <laughs> at our place. <laughs> mm -hmm. And sometimes you like, you know, my mother was like this. So even me, I'm like this. Yeah. My dad was like this. You really don't have to. And you, it doesn't have to be. Like, you don't have to own your parents' story. Yeah. You need to realize, and I feel like the older you get, you, you're, you're also able to see how your your parents and your family are just individuals. Like, your mom, when you're a child, when you're growing up, she's mom. Yeah. Then it reaches an age and you realize mom she's is just human. Alice. Yeah. You know? yeah. She's Alice who has a job, Alice who has kids, Alice who has personality traits and experiences. Alice who has interests. Yeah, interests yeah. and opinions. Yeah. And you don't have to make that your story. So the only thing you need to own is your personal experiences. That's true. You know, I was just having this conversation with my mom today in the morning and I was telling her how, okay. It's a long story that I, I'm intending to share, but later on, you know, okay. the stories you yeah. give to motivate people mm -hmm. there. And I was telling her, I feel like, um, you know, when you've gone through struggle a lot and all those things, there's a way you tend to own that struggle. Yeah. So even when you're explaining to people or when you're telling, when you're talking to someone, you're 
you have you tend to shed more light on that struggle part and everything so i was just telling her mom um even when i'm having a conversation with someone at when they're trying to get to know me maybe on an intimate level mm. i don't i don't I'm, I'm i'm i don't think i'll be sharing this aspect of my story like this anymore wow. that's what i was telling her wow. because the more i keep reiterating it the more i give part to it and the more oh i give gosh, part to so it beautiful. the more it sticks so yeah. i was telling her mimi like this part of my life i'm going to block it um from now henceforth like mm. going forward this mm. is what i want to share and this sure. is the reality i want to bring yeah. or give energy to yeah yeah oh my god we are in sync you know that takes me to the second point yeah. was it me or you it's you it's me your second one so mine is normalize people having dissenting opinions from you and i love it picasso, <laughs> picasso. preach and preach this goes back to you the video mm-hmm. the video we did with my mom the yeah. the cheating video the famous S- to cookie <laughs> <laughs> nairobi gossip club ndio hapo mimi yo kiti mimi piga na butwa but then i think it's even i think what's so amazing about it mm-hmm. is how honest and real it is like we are talking about normal things tunajifanya hapa venye tumeshtuka and that's the thing it was equal that's the thing so now happen. i was scrolling through the comments and there's a lot of like there's a lot of people who are approaching that conversation with bile and i'm just like <laughs> you know we don't have to pretend like with this bile. is not something yeah, that's like happening you know mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't have to pretend that he see kitu ina happen mm. and then also I feel like in life there's no bible truth. That's what I've come to realize as of like the older I've gotten. There's no bible truth. A lot of everything that we know is what we've been socialized to believe. A lot of the truths we own are things that have been like drilled in us mm-hmm. severely. Mm-hmm. So, just because I do not agree with you doesn't mean you're right. It doesn't mean I'm wrong. You know, we mm-hmm. could either meet at the middle or you could just own your truth and I own my truth. Mm-hmm. Also just because I've said one thing doesn't mean I'm invalidating another. Your experience. Two two truths can coexist and we can just leave stuff at that so mm-hmm. if someone says cheating is normal and you don't think cheating is normal you don't need to abuse them you know yeah. you don't need to hurl insults at them and then you also don't need to add on to like if i say cheating is normal it doesn't mean i've said stay in your marriage if you're being you beaten you know or if you're being beaten yeah. i'm just telling you cheating is normal but it's completely up to you to decide what you do from there on okay pause Do you feel like cheating is normal? I do feel like cheating is normal, honestly, especially with the men. I think for women, we are more emotional creatures. I don't know if I'm lying, but okay. the way I know it or the way I am, I feel yeah. like we're emotional creatures and like once you've invested your emotion somewhere, it's mm-hmm. like everyone else doesn't matter. Okay. So if it reaches a point you Where as a you're woman you're cheating, it means this guy is not doing something uh, you you feel neglected in all those things or you're looking to form yeah, yeah and you're looking to form another emotional connection with someone else yeah. but for men and the justification they use is that they are visual creatures and all those things so killer she mwana una na dunga so but i really i really struggle to mm-hmm. understand that concept of men are visual creatures mm-hmm. because they are men not monkeys like mm-hmm. they are too intelligent they mm-hmm. are too smart they are too in- <laughs> dependent thinking thinking mm-hmm. like they're human beings and they they still have you know i feel like even one of my unpopular opinions which um is not part of the normalize is mm-hmm. that me as analo i think men are more emotional than women you know i read that yesterday i just the more i think about it i'm just like but as in back to before we digress mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um be, now you've said that you feel like cheating is normal mm-hmm. so i guess my follow up and final question would be um is it something you tolerate no it can be normal but it doesn't have to be normal for like it okay. doesn't like have like it's so nuanced the you whole know, conversation yeah. because i don't yeah. think like the moment it happens it's either it's by but again i don't know i'm in the middle because really? yeah i'm in the middle of, with this uh, like topic and it's i'm looking at people like you know ani idibia and all these things these people mm-hmm. are, she's getting ani idibia you've watched young rich and famous mm-hmm. this woman where to face edibia's wife like he's been he has like oh the sorry who yeah he has, has like 10 yeah, children outside, outside their marriage and everything we also look at chloe kardashian and things like that so mm. i don't know honestly it depends with the decision to leave or stay depends it boils down to an individual mm. but the time like someone you've known for 17 years honestly i could cheat that mm-hmm. where do you think you're going i don't know i don't it sounds oppressive wow. or what yeah, but like what are you doing with uh, what are you doing after 17 years of your life with someone 
Homie. So, yes. in the words of mom, in yeah. a depend ame ku cheat wakati gani yeah. na kwa njia gani? <laughs> But me usi ni cheat to Mr. Baki. Me I think niko na nguvu ya kutoka after 17 years. <laughs> Your next one. Yeah. Wow, well, okay. Eh, me. We, in conversation. Okay. Tutamuita hapa. Mm, Atuchambulie. Really. But me I think I'll just be <laughs> opening my eyes and ogling. But yeah. Uh, what did they say? Mouth a gap. Mm-hmm. Ina sema ngaa gap ama agape. 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 Eh, zuri. Haya. Normalize being interested in numerous topics mm-hmm. and adopting eclectic learning. So, at the ekle. Aya, what's your word to happy? Eclectic. It's just a word that I I I don't know I removed it but I resonate with it a lot. So it just means um something that um sort of collects from something that is very diverse and nuanced in its in its existence mm-hmm. and has many influences and genres mm-hmm. and many so you can say like music is eclectic mm-hmm. in meaning that it's combining different genres and mm-hmm. inspirations and stuff. Mumelan so, new word <laughs> ecclesiastics many <laughs> eclectics <laughs> eclectic yeah. eclectic hey. mm-hmm. mm. so what uh, just i mean by that is um interest yourself mm-hmm. in a lot of different things mm-hmm. you know don't box yourself into i am this kind of person or i i do this kind of career or things like that mm-hmm. but just challenge yourself um to learn many different things things that maybe you'd, you'd say that you're not really good at good at you don't have to do maths mm-hmm. okay you don't mm-hmm. have to do maths even me I left maths alone zero point zero zero one. here i am thriving without maths Chereros. yeah <laughs> so but like yeah just try to learn different things and in learning different things you can discover other aspects of yourself and ultimately you can maximize your potential for sure you know and even if you don't like learning those new things at least know something else which you don't like mm-hmm. but still a step in the right direction so yeah don't just be a lawyer yeah. be a podcaster be a musician you know do all those kind of things that you want to <laughs> do and change mm-hmm. tomorrow by the way maybe kids go nataka kwa daktar imagine end up okay you ujiandikisha uingie september ningie nini mm. that's another thing i was like growing up i battled a lot because growing up i remember there's someone i looked up to yeah. it was patricia kihoro okay and there's this there was there's a time she listed all the things that she was so there was interior designer there there was a radio presenter she, because she has been there was a there was singer in there there's content creator and all those things and i was looking at her it was almost a list of like nine or eight things and i was like how is all this in one person not knowing that that's where i was heading, heading to where you realize you're multidimensional mm. and you can do you're gifted in a lot of things mm. but the thing that held me back was this saying of a uh, jack of all trades is a master, master of none man. only to realize that we used to get half of that saying the rest of the saying says but is better than a master of one hallelujah and then the other thing i was battling with was yeah. the fact that growing up in an african homestead where now you're pursuing unconventional things yeah. because aside from like law school is conventional absolutely being a lawyer is conventional yeah. being a podcaster is not yeah. being an uh, an artist is not yeah. um being a content creator is not, It's not yeah. so now from an african parents perspective or from the generations perspective they think maybe you're just being you're being ukona tama you know mm. you're not content with one thing and you're chasing the world for mm. you know a lot of things and losing your soul yeah and losing yourself <laughs> whereas you could just be a lawyer and just live a mediocre life and yeah. just be comfortable you yeah. know so right now in this age i just decided by the way you know what if i get the chance to i will explore every avenue that i'm interested in wherever each takes me i will go and if a point if i reach a point uh, in the journey that one thing ends and all those things and i find interest in another thing i'm going there yeah. i'm going there yeah. so oh, the next that's one beautiful, but yes <laughs> the yeah. next one is mine yes so normalize men being vulnerable i have experienced men who outrightly refuse to vent or men who refuse to share their struggles or men who refuse to own up that they're struggling or 
to own up that they are in a stage in their life where things are not looking good. Mm. And it's not looking good, bruv. They're it's not looking good. <laughs> they refuse to own up to that. Kabisa, kabisa. And, you know, it's good to do a British accent and then my Kenyan ime cut, like ime cut, talk a cut. Anyway, so, and I feel like that, number one, is a, a barrier to establishing like real a real relationship, whether it whether it be friends or whether it be romantic, romantic. or anything. Yeah. So <clears throat> men, I think, should just drop that tough guy act and all those things. You feel like women are vulnerable enough? Uh, <clears throat> not vulnerable enough. I mean, you give doses. Obviously, yeah. I'm not going to be vulnerable at the way we've met day one and all those things. Yeah. I think... I become more open as we go and after I establish, I can fart in front of you. <laughs> That's vulnerability. You, but yeah. As in, yeah, it's normal. Or is it? It is. In fact, if I can't shoot on Beleako, there's no way we are going. Honestly. But you wouldn't know until the first time you do it. Uh, and it happens, uh, like, the earlier the better. So it's when it's more comfortable in the early stages, I enjoy it. I end him mahali, but anyway, jokes aside. Yeah. Um, what are we saying? You're saying men being vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. I feel it's it's a barrier to yeah. establishing because I feel like at the core, yeah. all of us, whether you are a man or a woman, we really crave intimacy. Yeah. And honest, pure, yeah. and complete intimacy. Yeah. And you cannot get that if you are scared of saying you're struggling. You can't get yeah. that if you're scared of even shedding a tear. Yeah. If you feel like you have to and things like Maybe that. Maybe you cry. I've never seen you crying. Bro, I, I cry every day. You've never seen me cry. Obviously, I'm not going to tangaza myself while I'm Imagine crying. Imagine me like I'm a crier. In public. I'm so sure you've seen me cry before. No. You have. Maybe you've just forgotten. Nema, no, you're not. What? You're lying. I, I Like, honestly, the slightest thing. You used to cry in private, Basi. The way you really? look like a hardcore, yeah. Woo! Me, imagine. And But I'm really, like, not ashamed of my tears. Tebusi, we have misconceptions about each other. But, but it's true. Me, but I, I don't know. I've cried. Because I did it in the house. Mm. There's a time I just broke down in class. Because what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So men should be vulnerable. But I have a question. Yes. This this thing people say. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we are telling, calling them to be vulnerable and all those things. But mm-hmm. there are people who say like men are allowed to be vulnerable, but up to, to a certain an point. At your wizika unashinda kazi yako ni kulialia. Unalia nini every day? So what's your question? What do you think? About do you, that. Do you agree with that? Usidangane? <laughs> Usidangane? <laughs> Do you feel like it would give you the ick if they're crying all the time? Mimi kulingana na mimi si na maoni. Like any jokes. You're um, playing safe. Just say it. I like. Oh, I now I don't know what to say because like for me, mm-hmm. I'm so emotional. Mm-hmm. So I w- I'd be impressed you like being more emotional than me, like as a man. Okay, even me, I say that. You get. I say if and you cry, like, I love you. I feel like double. I feel like I'm not tough. Like mm-hmm. you know the people who are tough, like even Shores. Mm-hmm. As in Miss Kwangi tough before. Mm-hmm. Like I'm tough in the things that you're supposed to be tough in. Mm-hmm. But quite relationships kwangi tough. Many baby. And I, yeah. I strive mm-hmm. to become even more softer in mm-hmm. my relationships, both mm-hmm. friendships and romantic relationships. Because like you said, mm-hmm. that's the only way to building genuine connection. Mm-hmm. Just being completely on. So I think I wouldn't add like it would catch me off guard. Which is funny because I once was with someone who was more emotional than me. Mm-hmm. How was that? Safe to say. Crazy. It didn't go anywhere. And the more I think about it, it was just because of that. So what are you saying? Are you saying, do you do you agree that they should be emotional or vulnerable to a certain extent? Not all the way. Because even you are like that. Because now, if yeah. you're crying, he's crying. Then it's a double standard move. Yeah, then that's where I'm. That's where I was heading. That uh, we're calling men to be vulnerable, but mm-hmm. we're telling them you can only be vulnerable to, to a extent. certain extent. So what do we want? We don't even know what we want. Yeah, even me, I don't know what I want there. God but damn. honestly, I don't know. You can cry, but not every day. Even me, if I cry every day, I feel cheeky about that. So even me now, I'll just have to man up ish a little. But also for us, as in you do, you for us, how unserious listen, you sound. for us. It's different. We don't have to sound serious. It's okay because <laughs> we're being honest. For us, it's different. Yeah, that's the thing. It's different <laughs> because our ninis, our the our reasons to cry or even our moods, our nini, are dictated by things that are beyond our control. 
So you, you are there. And this thing I keep saying, like for women, we generally like have one week of normalcy. That's the one week where you can tag things out or mm. one thing where you can get stuff mm. done. The rest, mm. umejam, but it's just because an egg is about to be released. Mm. The other time, umejam, but it's because you're taking G plan B or mm. P2 so that oh, wow. G what can't happen. So mm-hmm. because we have one week of normalcy and the rest of the time you're moods are haywire, your feelings are all over the place. I don't know, you just kind of a nigga that's crying all the time. I mean, I, I'm going to take that, like I'm going to die on that heel of yours as well, because also for me, mm-hmm. which I, I don't know if this makes me sound um very, uh like I'm a slow learner mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or grower. Mm-hmm. Literally this year mm-hmm. is when I've come to accept that I actually have a really bad PMS. And like you said, it's things beyond your control. Mm, you can't do anything about it. There's no medicine for PMS. Yeah. So like usually, anyway. The other, it's you now. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> so I was going to say, but I didn't interrupt you, that mm-hmm. that was also one of my points. Okay. But just normalizing vulner- vulnerability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just being able to articulate your emotions, mm-hmm. your needs, mm-hmm. and yeah. Vulnerability is not weakness. Mm-hmm. It's just being brave. So yeah, I just think... um. But like in general, for men and women alike, mm-hmm. and as in you've literally said everything, um, not being vulnerable takes you out of connection with others, and the inverse is also true. Um, but I guess that also comes to the responsibility because mm. if someone is being vulnerable with you, you need to be mature enough to realize that that's a sacred space. You know, they are entrusting you with the emotions. And definitely even if you um, lose their trust mm-hmm. or defile their trust, that's on you. Yeah. But like, just don't be a bad human being. Let's all try to make that safe space for people. Um, which is funny also because I, I feel like of late, mm-hmm. uh, especially over the past like six months, mm-hmm. I've been having so many intimate conversations with people and like just both men and women. And I can't say like there are things I've arranged or mm-hmm. decided. Mm-hmm. It's like everyone has a lot on their chest. It is. <laughs> and I'm just like, actually, when when you like I the best example I can give is somebody who you know mm-hmm. who is like very tough and stringent and guarded and they have an answer to everything. Yeah. Then maybe you see them cry. Or maybe you see them go through something tough or ex- like um explain a very vulnerable emotion. Mm-hmm. I feel like I respect that person more. Mm-hmm. I see their humanity more and I have more appreciation for them yeah so yeah vulnerability is the way don't get it twisted love is a beautiful thing <laughs> it's done jazzy again <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you want to yeah. go next i uh you can go next no go next okay um where am i i don't know okay so normalize mm-hmm. um accepting that being really invested in one aspect of your life especially something that you're very passionate about Mm -hmm. will cause a lack of balance in other aspects of your life. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Break it down. Break it down. Yeah. So uh, what, how can I explain that? I'd say, um, a balance in life is Mm -hmm. a facade. Through all like work, relationships, and mm-hmm, school, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. I think it's a facade. Mm-hmm. And that's why a very big human virtue is sacrifice. For something to grow, something else has to, to die. Has to be sacrificed. So I think um, especially like now in our twenties, mm-hmm. mid twenties, mm-hmm. yeah. Like um <clears throat> for all of us, we are all trying to build towards something. Uh-huh. But we're not all trying to build the same thing mm-hmm. and we need to respect that. Yeah. So there are people who are getting married. Mm-hmm. The people who are getting children, mm-hmm. the people who are starting businesses, mm-hmm. the people who are going back to school. And with all those things, um, it causes a strain on other aspects of your life. Yeah. And I think that expectation should be removed. Yeah. yeah. And if you feel like you're balancing, then you're not being honest with yourself. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. And I and I can speak to that because I think I also highlighted it earlier on. Mm. Like when I was when I was in uni. Mm. And when I started producing music, music 
professionally. Mm. I think those things were happen concur- were happening concurrently, and I was honest with myself to admit that I d- school did suffer because I had a genuine bias towards music. Mm. So you'd find I have a paper tomorrow, but because my paper today ended at twelve, by two I'm in the studio, studio. instead of studying for my next paper. Yeah. I'm in the studio making music, yeah. and the next paper comes and I do it and I genuinely I, my first year grades um, are a mess because of that mm. and then also now looking at it now mm. where I'm still doing KSL and doing the podcast and now earlier I had work and all those things I mean I could there was generally a balance ish mm-hmm. but again you find the books were suffering a bit because mm-hmm. When I'm reading, I'm also planning for the podcast. Mm. When so, it it is actually true that balancing is a facade. Yeah, it just reaches a eh. It reaches a point. It just reaches a point. Yeah. <laughs> Never. There's a time we had meeting competition, mm-hmm. and then I was making. It was my time to make the submissions. Mm-hmm. My tongue refused to roll. I was supposed to say as a result. My tongue was like a rara result, and I was like, what? <laughs> So exactly what's happening to me. Court. I did moot court. I I had the I full didn't. university experience, yeah. law school experience. Yeah. Oh, Max. So yeah. The, Konza, she said, Apple, you said Apple balance is a facade." Mm. Yeah, I think it's a facade. Apple Court Studio, mm-hmm. like me, me, like me, me accept like um. So many of my relationships have been. Mm-hmm. <laughs> put at the back mm-hmm. of me being in studio because I always feel like being in studio is productive um, and making music and all of that. Mm-hmm. And then these other things, I'm just like, oh my Dominating. God, it's a chore. Yeah. yeah so. Hiya. I don't know, man. I feel like we sound so controversial today. You do. I'm. Am I sounding <laughs> controversial? I don't think so. Are you projecting Should we put up? Eh. Na ni ni leo kizungu na nikata ama cha niongee Kiswahili. Niweke pole hapo hivyo mniambie kama niko controversial na mani. Yeah. Na kizungu imenikata. That's a good poll. My other, my no other normalize is yes. normalize mm-hmm. seeing darker armpits, seeing darker knees, seeing darker fingernails uh because there's something called hyperpigmentation. It's not that somebody is dirty. It's not that somebody... It's not normal. A meji bleach. No, it's not normal to some people. There's a time I saw people trolling somebody because they posted their nails. Mm-hmm. And you know the way you, you could you could generally just be lighter mm-hmm. and then the area surrounding your nails like have... Like kucha iko, mm-hmm. but up and ya kucha ni like darker than the usual and then the surrounding area pia ni dark, you know. Oh, so kunayo ya uchafu mean. ya mwenye, okay, kama mtu anauza maka. Ununa kama mtu anauza maka <laughs> Kama mtu anauza maka, mm. Jehovah. Sasa ya uchafu. Only if you are selling maka. No, you not only. Ata, no, ya, nasema. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Yeah. Mm. But sasa yu, mtu anauza i confused na that. So there's a time they were trolling her completely because of that. And I was just like, Who is bro. Her? Um, someone on Twitter, I don't know who it is, okay. but the Twitter handle in your post your picture is like a female. Mm. So when I'm tukana, I'm chafu, I end up finding a pedicure and all those things. And I'm just like, you can't but wash ke- away hyperpigmentation. But 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 Nema, first of all, hyperpigmentation once me, I can just be honest. Mm. Hyperpigmentation, first of all, in happening kwa the weirdest of areas. Okay. Unazapata usayako gum lighty and then shingo hyperpigmentation mm. ukom lighty up and i meamwani kwa hyperpigmented mm. magoti and all those things so mm. you find when you wear certain clothes you become a bit conscious about those specific areas mm. so when people show you about something you are conscious about, about. it's like when you elevate to like a whole other level yeah. so uh, just because someone has darker inner thighs or someone has uh, darker knees and whatnot, mm. it doesn't mean they are wachafu. Mm. Hyperpigmentation can be caused by a lot of issues. And as a kwa ame alianguka kaumia yu area automatically takwa a bit bruised. Mm. Um, and it just means they have more melanin in a particular area of their body than the other. Mm. So normalize that. What the hell? Normalize yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> And like just also just people stop commenting. Nobody asked you. Or we stop internalizing Nobody this body you. standards that we're seeing on the internet. Yeah, also because it's 2022. You can't be at war with your body. Co- internet, they will edit the picture to look the way they want it to look. So but, but. you're killing yourself over edits. Yeah. There's no point. Over technology. Yeah. Or you're <laughs> setting standards for women in your life because of something you've seen has been doctored to look the way it's looking. So yeah. Mm. 
So how many more than I have? I have two more. It's I think okay. Also you? Yeah, me too. Okay. So the this the second last one I have mm-hmm. is. Whew, I feel like I'm really passionate about this one. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we wanna hear. <laughs> so normalize having many friends mm-hmm. and many friend groups and hanging around different people. But why do they tell us to keep our circles small? Why are you going they? against that? Who is they? You know, okay. So I don't know. Things. Life hasn't proved that to you yet. That you should keep your circle small. Eh? I just, I, oh. this is what I think. Mm-hmm. So birds of a feather are bound to flock together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People who think the same, do the same, move the same, have the same values, whatever values are, please. Oh my God. Do you know, mm-hmm. there's a, my primary school class teacher used that line to separate me from my desk mate. Like you didn't we, have similar values. We were both like at a brilliant and all those things. So he was like, birds of a feather cannot flock together. So he had to separate us so that I don't even know what that is, but mm. but pengina like mm. mukika pa moja mna chachishana. Kuchachishana see to na see any healthy competition. Like we're healthy, look okay. unhealthy. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I get what you mean though. Mm. Yeah. So like leg like poles repelling. Not like post. I don't think we had a problem until they separated us. When they separated us is when now Started animosity be, like Oh wow. When we were together, it was a healthy competition. Like I don't know how some she shows me the some. But when we were separated, now it became let me show you dust. But it started from her. And now me are just okay. So mm. dust, when you dust katambe, katambe. Yeah, so now it became absolute animosity. Which class were you in? That was class seven. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so you were saying buzz of feather flock together? Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, my brain has reloaded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so buzz of feather are bound to flock together and mm-hmm. you're obviously going to gravitate to people who are like you. Mm-hmm. You know where the danger is? <laughs> where is the danger? <laughs> when you stay around people who are like you, mm-hmm. you start having a very boxed um, idea of how life is and if you don't challenge yourself to think or move beyond your friend group you're going to start saying that i'm this kind of person and i don't resonate with other kinds this is of, how kinds i of am people. this is how i am and other stories and it's so dangerous because you mm-hmm. limit your ability to experience other parts of the world you might not be able to travel to all the 290 plus countries in this world well, to 90 but plus countries i think they're to 90 or not 150 something Mm, I don't know. I'm not confused now. Constituencies were like the easy elections in in my wakili mode. To talk on phone. Because when Ginadi nilikuwa nimekaa chini na constitution na confirm vitu zenye wanasema kwa news. Ulilia vile announcement ile mekia kwanza ilikuwa last week time like this. Mimi ama wewe. Mimi nakwambia nyumba yetu ilikuwa na somba mood. Somba mood. Ilikuwa kama mood ni matanga. Ni kama I bet, I bet. Eh, Munaenda munaka tu ngoma za kuomboleza. Ista hata tu kuweka ngoma ya kuomboleza, tutaki hata hizo ngoma, hata mm. TV izimwe. Mama yangu alisema, "Mm." <laughs> It's too much. She's tired. It's too much. Alienda kulala 6. <laughs> As in venye ile inaunciwa tu. Alichoka ataki mambo. Mm. Wa wow, lakini I don't know, we'll talk about baba later, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um I think <clears throat> A lot I think I I I I feel some type of way about um the way it has been normal to not associate with all kinds of people. And you don't I guess um like I feel like I'm so passionate about it until like I'm losing words mm. to say like maybe it's so dangerous for me to just hang around you mm-hmm. because we are going to agree on everything yeah like being around these yes, yes people there's yes, a, there's there, there are some girls who um they they sort of speak to women mm-hmm. and they are really passionate about that mm-hmm. and uh, every time i go and listen to the to the things that they say mm-hmm. i always agree Mm-hmm. So I avoid trying to listen to them mm-hmm. because they don't teach me anything. They're I'm just there reiterating my head. the things. Yeah, I'm there nodding my head yeah. and I'm not learning anything. Yeah. I'm not growing. Mm-hmm. I'm not seeing how life exists beyond me. Yeah. So I guess like eh ingia like okay si same uskize like what when you know kongo like misogynists or yeah, like, yeah. who hate humanity. Mm-hmm. But like mm-hmm. Just try, try, okay? We you know. shoot shots and we fire shots. Mm. Like, just try. Like, try having weird friends. 
Okay. Yeah? Just go and listen to people who don't think like you. To people who have never been to... If Precious I can say, bloody Luta. Eh, eh, people who are not to. in your end. Yeah. People who've not been through 844. Yeah. People who don't go to the places that you go. People who just don't eat in Klabu. Exactly. People who just don't live in your, like, uh, residential mm. Nini. Yeah. And, and I, I think the, the beauty in that is you'll realize how many people you can bond with. Like that even expose you to whoa. sides of yourselves, you, you side of yourself you didn't know exist. Yeah, that's nice. So, yeah, yeah. My normalize is yes. normalize finishing your plate on a date. <laughs> <laughs> the people who don't don't go to a date mm. and you are hungry mm. and just at it because you want this other party to like you or to respect you or to see you in some sort of light. Mm. And now you're just eating their half ass mm. and size of plate in a cost 1700 or mm. like 2100. Mm. Why are you leave you the rest of the food? Who are you leaving the rest of the food for? Yeah. Just mm. eat and finish. If they don't like you because you finished your plate, good riddance. Good bet, riddance. Bet. Because I mean, I, I, I really don't even have anything to say because I, I would see... I would eat. Why am I not finishing my food? See, so that they don't go and tweet about you and say they took a girl on a date and she finished her plate and she did not pay a cent. I That's shallow, though. It's it is, and That's the really the thing that worries me the most is that we're act. That's where we are right now. The dating scene is just like that, mm. where you think you've gone to a date with someone mature and all those things, and then it was pleasant. You you were eating. You didn't even think at the they're watching what you're doing, what you're eating, how you're mm. eating, and all those things, but. Kesha, yeah, Kesha, una Jonah took a date. Una Jonah took a Twitter. Like mm. someone am a tweet and people are retweeting. People are laughing. Mm. Or people are like, "Nakuna ingine yo wana shemingi mse ati ukienda kwa cho una flash marambili." Like what the hell? What the hell? Oh, Jayona, ati demu nenda na yeye lafu na flash cho marambili. Like flash cho mar. She died kwa pika. But see, that's like... And it doesn't mean that I yeah, agenda. It just means I just want to make sure. <laughs> I just want to make sure your toilet is clean before I leave. What the hell? <laughs> no, my lies. Come on, I'm scared to flash your marine flash. Marine, I'm a marine. Flash your kid. Marane. I'm going to end up coming to you. I'm going to end up coming to you. But uh, let me tell you. Mimi... <laughs> Mimi tumbo yangu inaniembarasingi. Eh hiyo hiyo ni because utaki akubrand at when he hog ama when he kula. Come on. Like my stomach is so loud me like it's so embarrassing. Naweza sema no I'm not hungry. Eh uskie. You're not hungry. Unataka kuka cute pick me. Hiyo ni pick me behavior. Kama uko na nja kula. Kama ni pizza umekaa box up. Kama tumbo inachukua slice saba umwachie hiyo moja kule kesha asubuhi umwachie. <laughs> Kama mbaya atanunua ingine. Kuliko na history Twitter ya ule msana mwenye alisiji ali aligonganisha mayai 10. Ati 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 mtu amenala mayai moja ka. Lakini asikia pili ka. <laughs> if you're the reason to chana first of all he hates you he hates you, he hates you. because like, why can't you my why ni kitu ya kugombanisha mtu chakula ni human right hiyo ni kitu basic so ukienda date eh hata kama una uwezo ongeza juice ya village yeah ni akapicha mayai no imagine una picha mayai nini babe don't talk to men who hate you Eh, honestly. It's just hit. Like period. No other explanation. There's no other explanation. So, msichana, wa wenyewe, ukienda date kula. Maliza, kitu ubakisha maybe ni mfupa. Mfupa nayo kianza kutafuna hiyo to see normalize. Okay. Okay. But ukiwa peke yako unaweza ikula, mimi sijui. But wanaume pia wacheni wanawake wa kule. So zingine watu wengine hata ni njai na waleta date permission. Watu wengine ni njai na wapeleka date. So by virtue of that watch it. Mm. <laughs> Or sufficient mm. plate. Hi, your last one. My last one is uh, normalize drinking one liter of water every day. You are not a camel. You are a human being. Ah, unasema uko sad. Kumbe hujakunywa maji. Umeniata. Uko nja. Hujakunywa maji by the way. Like iki tu. Unajua maji inakonga so bland. Like it's almost pointless. But then When you desire to drink water it mm-hmm. actually improves the quality of your life. Hey. Just drink one liter. I have maramza chona ndo anazifanya. Safisha mwili. And the, the more water you drink the more like uta adapt kuwa like ata izoma wash your hands. Mimi na Jamie niko na shida. Mi siju spendangi kukunya majiko yenyewe. Juma ji testing the same. 
then carry a water bottle. So everywhere. Yeah. You're, stress, you're stressing And me. that's what I'm saying. We're singer. Me wanna join Gamia when I can go a magic cook on Gongo. In a in a cow cause G three months. You you mm-hmm. need water continuously mm-hmm. all the time. So mm-hmm. yeah, just drink one liter of water. Nani Maria Gakanya Dalini fundisha kuku nya maji. Umesama to stromwe na susu. Hey, it's just like a dare. What's going on? And then I got your smell like because you didn't drink water. Ammonia, 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 pure. Pure. No more. I'm not talking about cocos calded. Today I'm trying to tell my choice. I did it in a ban. Oh my god. Hata boli ya wenyewe inaweza pata manini. Unaweza acha tu sports kwa boli acha. Hiyo hata usipoitwa date ya pili siwezi complain. Na hiyo ni boli yako. Umesema sisi si Kamel. You know that Kamel. Baby girl. Hey. Kunywa maji. Oh my god, unaacha pandi me ba. No, stop. Acha, acha, acha. So acha, my last acha. one is acha. normalize conversations around money. Whether you're in a friend group, whether you're in a relationship or what. Mm-hmm. Um, with friends, uh, in the friend aspect, I mean, if we're planning to go out and you completely don't have money, don't act like you're cool, don't act like you're okay with going to where we're saying we go and you don't have cash because... When we're budgeting, mtu anaweza kuwa amejibudgetia nini nini. So kila mtu si unaassume tunaenda, wewe umebeba pesa yako, mimi umebeba pesa yangu, yeye amebeba pesa yake. Mm-hmm. But the moment ana show up, they can't pay for what they've ordered to eat. Yeah. Ama you just, just start just seeing them acting, manners, yeah, you start seeing manners. them acting funny. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not bad manners really because I understand how sensitive conversations about money is. It is though. No, no, I understand me I understand why someone wouldn't just be direct or open about saying I can't afford this, you know. I understand why. So, Ama, it makes me feel bad to see that they're even scared of like perusing the menu further because they just don't know how to tell you they don't have the cash. In a bidi sasa where to you take the initiative to ask, are you okay? And then you've come with a limited amount of resources and now they're telling you they're not okay. I just feel like if we're friends, honestly, be free enough and be honest enough with yourself and with me to tell me Maeve by the way if you're saying we go here my money can only take us here i don't think we the friend group would have a problem in compromising and just going to a cheaper nicer place or we mm-hmm. can just mobilize funds for you. to cater for you there's no problem in that but again it's kwema zoya it's kwema zoya and then in relationship think, okay. yes Just yeah, I think um like the more you talk about it like money is such a big topic like uh, like eh hey, it's so new and Stephen like yeah. Sema, because yeah. um in as much as you can't and that's I, that's your point like normalize conversations around money because mm-hmm. it's so unfair yeah. to make somebody else feel in the blanks mm-hmm. of your money situation mm-hmm. and then like um also like You know like there's also a way mm-hmm. when there's somebody in the friend group who is like uh, covering a lot of the bills or yeah. there's a way that ni kama munam like anabebwa higher but like like you guys um you like value the person more yeah. but the truth is you really disrespect them yeah and because that's you're putting mm. Yani unajeka ndani ya pesa zao kama budget and a lot of people actually have that mazo and sometimes i wonder how are you guys raised but i think again because maybe if my parents knew right now nimekuuliza so but aniuliza simu yangu ilikuwa imekufa imeingia kwa maji uka you know mm-hmm. like who, not even that huko umejipanga ulikuwa umeenda kwa maze mama yako mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. <laughs> Aku, but i also nini. understand your point some people just don't have parents they can call back and ask for money from Not if, if anything wonder when I'm tegemea when I'm ngojea hiyo so itoke kwake you know so and if and if and if we are friends mm-hmm. i should be knowing that again goes back to vulnerability and honesty yeah. with the, in relationships yeah. Yeah. some people might not a mind yeah, reader. yes but some people might have not reached that level of being completely open with that aspect of their life like that so i completely understand but that's what i'm trying to say we break this nini yeah. surrounding money where you're com- if we're friends you're comfortable in telling me this is my situation nini nini and as a, as your friend i should my i should accommodate you in one way or another mm. and then also again in relationships, relationships. 
relationships yeah. yeah in relationships if you feel like uh, your boyfriend should be giving you money for hair nini nini i'm not <laughs> talking at the entitlement no mm-hmm. i'm just saying because everyone who gets into a relationship has legitimate expectations and then again <laughs> when nitume <laughs> wakae kwa kona yao and then and then also <laughs> if nini hata niko nasema nini i'm saying uh, not yeah we're not to. yeah everybody gets into a relationship for something we we're not going to pretend okay. to to pretend you get into a relationship because this person makes you feel good you get into a relationship because this person is good vibes you get into a relationship because he has a car Bank. all those reasons yeah you know people have skewed reasons and all those things mm. so if you genuinely have an expectation that your boyfriend will be giving you uh 2k per week or 2k per day mm. um communicate that at least tell them so that in case they can't you look for a person who can do that for you i know this sounds very vain but honestly isn't it it is any to keep our honest in affect a lot of relationships mm. now what to wanna kata to mm. accept that mm. nivitu ziko So yeah talk so, about come, it come on any material girl who see Jifanya is material girl. Hey come on any material girl who Jifanya when we see material girl na come on a jumps channel ni material girl na una mu approach Achana, come yeah, with yeah. material come with materials absolutely or ukai kokona yako yeah ju alafu hii kitu yenye watu wana nini tusi tusi wasichana ati ni anini gold diga nini nini and you have no gold na una gold una gold like una tukana mtoto wa wenyewe kani kama una gold ka kwa kona yako watcha gold diggers who are dig for gold yeah watcha gold diggers who are dig for gold wewe tafuta yako hiyo time utapata utadigiwa hiyo yako pia but then ukuje utaambia life story kama una biambo god will bless you i had gold honestly yeah tutaambia eh mission ya jaa kushem watu jua nataka pesa ama nini yeah. it's it's valid okay okay lakini okay. mtu atakukaunta kwambie kama unataka pesa pia utafute zako eh. eh lakini juu eh. niko na wewe pia zako ninataka <laughs> eh. but i i guess like especially like you know we are also our society is also an african society mm-hmm. in as much as mm-hmm. these days we are so cool mm-hmm. um i feel like i would i, I don't know how i would navigate mm-hmm. a long term relationship mm-hmm. where i'm making more money that the man for, for his sake mm-hmm. like i feel like for me i can i can be like mature and realize that it's not a big deal mm-hmm. but i don't think an african man would be okay with that also because sometimes i'm convinced my soulmate is an african man because mm. i don't see how he's not an african man mimi never mimi niko stuck in the old ways mimi mwanaume ni mwanaume but then also and then uh-huh. i'm i am open minded to the extent that things like tables can turn and all those things mm. so but tables turning is life and you know when yeah. tables turn in life mm. it's not two weeks it's two years mm. of you holding mm. the fort mm. god damn okay that's tricky and yeah. that's another story for another episode yeah. so nema magic commit kutoka hapa tell anyway guys me and like ako controversial yeah and this kwa pole yenye tutaeka utasema nema ni controversial sana sikuje but it's been nice to have you it's been me nice too. to hear the things you'd like to be normalized me too, me. you have opened my eyes me to too. Me too. some things i didn't have my eyes open to and i've enjoyed the podcast me too is there something you want to tell the circles audience before we go um not really just to watch all the episodes eh, now and prepare our opinions i was going to say something but i'm sorry i'm not going to say it anyway see you on the next episode be sure to follow us on our social media pages at cycles underscore podcast on instagram at mave sharil on instagram or at mave sharil one on twitter and follow nema's handle at analo kanga on all social media platforms see you on the next one bye bye bye